Nobody asked him the time or the way. And even blind men's dogs knew him and led their masters out of his path. But what did he care? Not at all. It was the very thing the old, spiteful, wretched miser enjoyed most. Such a man was Ebenezer Scrooge. Mr. Scrooge, sir? Mr. Scrooge, sir? Oh, ah, this should do the trick. Are you wishing to lose your situation? Oh, oh, Why, family, Merry Christmas. Oh. Good afternoon, sir. Have we the pleasure of addressing Monsieur Scrooge or Monsieur Marley? Oh. <coughs> Good afternoon, sir. Have we the pleasure of addressing Monsieur Scrooge or Monsieur Marley? Mr. Marley is dead. Oh. He died seven years ago this very night. Sir! with me? Match. Who are you then? Ask me who I was. You're very particular for a ghost. <laughs> who were you then? In life I was your partner, Jacob Marley. You don't believe in me? I do not. You may be an undigested bit of beef, a blot of mustard, a crumb of cheese, a fragment of an underdone potato. <laughs> There's more of the gravy than in the grave about you, whatever you are. Ebenezer! <laughs> Man of the worldly mind, do you believe in me or not? Do you know this place, Ebenezer? No, it was, uh, it was apprenticed here. It's Fezziwig. Look, there's old Fezziwig alive again. Yo ho, Fezziwig! Yo ho there, Ebenezer! <laughs> Jacob! Mr. Scrooge. To to Mr. Mr. Scrooge! Are these the shadows of things that will be? Or are they the shadows of things that may be only men's lives? They do foreshadow certain ends to which, if pursued, they will naturally lead. But if these courses are departed from, then the ends will change. Yes, yes, the ends must change. Say it is thus with what you show me, spirit. Say it is thus with what you show me. <laughs> oh, am I the man they spoke of? Twice the size of Tiny Tim. What a wonderful surprise. No, oh, bring him back now. Take all the money, buy the turkey, bring him back here. And Mrs. Dilber. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Smoking Ebenezer Scrooge has been with us now for over 175 years. And today we still marvel at the changes brought about by his mysterious visitors. Changes not only to the whole man, but changes to his heart. A Christmas Carol doesn't offer us any specifics. It doesn't offer us any ready-made plans to follow, but it does offer us the hope and promise for the future for that small part of Ebenezer Scrooge that lives in us all. And that hope is embodied by those very famous words. God bless us, everyone!